the topic, presentation topic is about one of the most legendary figures of football history, Ronaldinho Gaucho. So we will go through some of the important events of his career. So let's start. The story of Ronaldinho started in the small town of Porto Alegre. Uh, he followed the footsteps of his brother uh, to join the local club premier at the age of seven. There are two pics of Ronaldinho and his young age. Uh, there is a fun fact about Ronaldinho. At the age of 13, his premier youth team played against a local club and won the match 23 nil. And Ronaldinho scored all the goals by himself. 23 goals in a single match. Ridiculous, isn't it? His first big achievement came with the Brazil under-17 national team and he, they won the championship and Ronaldinho was regarded as the best player <coughs> of the tournament. Ronaldinho started his European career for French club Paris Saint-Germain. Uh, many of us actually didn't know about this fact that Ronaldinho played for PSG but this was an important part of his career because his promising performance gave him the chance for the 2002 World Cup. I think this picture kindly make up make some many of us nostalgic because this was one of the greatest squad of Brazil's history. Look at the uh, faces Ronaldo, Rivaldo, Tapu, Ronaldinho, Roberto Carlos and many of them. During the quarter final match between Brazil and England Ronaldinho made his mark. Uh, Brazil was level with England 1-1 and then they got a free kick uh, if you look at the free kick, it was from a very long distance, almost from near midfield. Uh, and it is kind of impossible to score a direct goal from this kind of range. But Ronaldinho did that impossible thing and the England goalkeeper David Spiman was actually helpless. He could not, he just was, he could not, nothing but see. And uh, Brazil eventually won that uh, World Cup and Ronaldinho was, became a rising star at that time. In uh, 2003, Ronaldinho joined uh, Barcelona and from 2003 to 2006, those were the magical years of his career. He won everything that he could possibly have. Two La Liga titles, one Champions League title. He became FIFA Player of the Year, back to back year, 2004 and 2005, which we call the Balance Year nowadays. Uh, and uh, here is an important event of his career. This was the El Clasico match and Barcelona was already 1-0 up. Then Ronaldinho scored two spectacular goals in between 20 minutes in the same fashion. He went past uh, Sergio Ramos, that's Sergio Ramos. He went past Sergio Ramos and then beat Cassius in the same way. And even the rival fans could not help themselves applauding, from, applauding him. They gave him an standing ovation. It's actually rare from a rival fans to applaud for a rival player. Uh, this is the comparative stats of Ronaldinho uh, for Barcelona. Uh, if you see, before he came, the position of Barcelona at league and after he came. 4-4-6 four, four, and then he came 2-1-1. One, one. So that's what he offered for Barcelona. Uh, his, uh, then uh, it was time for the 2006 World Cup. But uh, this, this World Cup was meant to be for him, but uh, the dream of Brazil was shattered by one more defeat from France and Zinedine Zidane, another legend, outshadowed him. Uh, but uh, he was not finished yet. He came back to Barcelona and uh, uh, finished another spectacular season. In 2006 campaign, he scored 21 league goals. But the next uh, season was not actually good for him. He uh, faced several injury blow and he was kind of indifferent to his uh, training. And uh, the new generation of Barcelona was coming up uh, to get their position in the squad. And another part is that uh, uh, he was a very party loving guy. Uh, this was one of the reasons because of his fallout. I think the picture says it all. Uh, he kind of got slow because of uh, because his lack to. Uh, training. So he uh, re to reignite his career, he uh, changed, switched his club, and he went to Milan. Uh, he spent three seasons in Milan. Uh, he tried to get himself back, but actually it was not possible after the 2010 World Cup when he did not get the ball. Uh, this is 